What is up, YouTube, and welcome back to yet another Minecraft episode. This is Red Leprechaun Gaming, and... I built the Egloo. It's actually Egloo-shaped. Now, you may be asking yourself, why are there golems in your Egloo? Well, you see, it turns out, if you place a lat a, uh, lat a jack-o'-lantern on the ground, it counts the snow blocks the ground is made out of as the golem base and spawns golems. Now, yes, this did take a lot of snowballs, but what I found out was if, quite by accident, I found out that since they constantly generate snow under them, you can just keep doing this forever. And you will always have snow. Now, I still have no idea what I actually want to do for our base. But, until then, I managed to organize my stuff. What do you want? <laughs> so we have inorganics, organics, farming supplies, building supplies, hostile mob drops, peaceful mob drops, weapons, tools, nothing, and ores. <laughs> so, we're probably going to start a mine because we need one of those. Close the damn door. So what I'm going to do is build several ladders with the emphasis on several. Now some of you might be thinking, does that mean he's going to dig straight down? Well, yes it does. But you're not supposed to do that in Minecraft. I don't give a damn. You see, I've never once actually dug straight down and hit lava myself. And it's the most efficient way to get down, so I'm just going to do that. Where do we want to put it? I guess we could just put it in our base. Like, our temporary base, anyways. And this could be the little mining outpost afterwards. How many? That's only 30 ladders. We need at least 64 ladders if we're going to be digging down as far as I want to. Yes, I'm going to dig down to diamond level right away. This will not be like some other people's Let's Plays. I do know that YouTubers who play this game have a habit, a bad habit, of digging down and getting diamonds in the first episode. I mean, obviously this isn't the first episode, but... I mean, if, if you find diamonds in the first episode, you... The series is just going to be so short, and, I mean, there's no reason to speedrun this game. I am taking my time. I mean, I'm cutting out some of the meaningless stuff, but I'm taking my time. I mean, this is episode three now, and we are currently, well, we've, we've only got four pieces of coal to date. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to go find some more wood. We're going to have to start a tree farm. Here's an idea. We build like an ice fortress, or like a snow fortress, and inside of it is a biome of our own making. I like the sound of that. We're, we'll build our own biome. It shall be very interesting. Okay, so... We're going to need several of these. That was, that was way too much. I meant to hit the A button. But we have 50 pickaxes now. Yay. <laughs> Watch me get iron in two seconds and make these all useless. I... Okay, since we're going to be in this biome, I can open my map now. Wow. We're actually in the very corner of this area. I'm going to need this. Oh my god, we're at 102? I really need more wood because... I do not have the resources to pillar down all the way to frickin' diamond level when I have this many ladders. Yep, I have... Do I have any more wood in the organics chest? No, I don't. Building materials? I have enough for three sticks. Three sets of sticks, I should say, which is 13... So that's one more ladder set. 
Yes, I know they're generating snow everywhere and it's a little annoying, but they give me free infinite building materials, so they stay. Also, there's like three of them outside. Yeah, I was standing here and I dug this block out. I was going to replace the entire inside floor with these. And every time I clicked it, the snow would disappear and so would the pumpkin. And I was just confused. I'm standing there clicking it. And then I look outside and I realize there's a bunch of golems running around out there. They're probably all dead now, but, you know. They're golems. They're replaceable. So that's 96. We're at 102. So 96 from 102. That's, that'll be level 6. So... I guess we just start digging down. We'll use this corner. Oh, I haven't tested this yet. Oh, great. Let's see, here we go. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. Doot, doot. I'll put a uh, thing on that eventually. By thing, I mean a trap door. I don't think golem, I don't think snow golems can actually climb ladders. It would be very weird if they could, but on the off chance that they can, well, we'll probably know soon because one will fall into this hole with me. No! Bitch. How dare you do this to me. Ladder placement is so touchy these days. No. Problem is, you can't really place them well when you go up ladders either. Because for a split second, it like counts you as clicking on the block under them. Shit. Stop doing that, you little whore. There we go. I know we're not actually that far down yet. Probably gonna have to. Ooh, I can put jack o' lanterns in. I was gonna say, when you put torches in, sometimes it'll place the ladder in the wall recess when you're laddering up. But if I put jack o' lanterns there, it will light it up, and simultaneously, it won't interfere with ladder placement. Jack o' lanterns are very useful. Oh, that reminds me, I found more. Jack, more pumpkins on the way when I was searching for snow. Stop it. Stop it, you little bitch. There we go. Fuck you. Where did that go? Over there. Now we should theoretically be able to do this. Now it's working. Until that happens. That's a big problem with, I don't know if, like, I know I don't build in creative very often. Because I think I have like one creative world on this entire Xbox, like, hard drive. But I know it's a glitch when, uh, you build in creative mode and it sometimes affects survival mode that if you place blocks too fast it'll count it as hitting the hitbox of the previous block and instead of you placing a block it'll skip one before it places it and then you'll end up with a row of blocks that are like one space apart and then you have to go back through and fix it. It's really annoying. Happens with ladders sometimes too. That's the main reason ladder, like, building ladders while you're climbing them doesn't work very well, because see, up to like about halfway up that block, it's still counting as me placing it on the hitbox of the previous ladder. Also, if you've ever built a mob spawner with ladders, you will know that 
sometimes mobs don't die from falling if there's letters involved. And it's not because of the reason you'd think. See, the mobs aren't actually, like, clinging onto the ladder to climb. What's happening is it's registering, like, uh, most of the time, you know, most people know that anything over 24 blocks, mobs will die pretty much instantly. And, you know, people will build it to the exact height that the mobs will die from because they don't want to raise, waste resources. And what happens is if you use letters, sometimes what will happen is it will count on the mob is not hitting this block, but is hitting the ladder's hitbox. So it's technically falling one block shorter than it normally is. Which is also why if you fall off a ladder, there's not a guarantee that you'll die. You might hit one of the hitboxes of the ladders and take less damage. I'm going to fill this in with something, because I don't have any torches, and I don't have much wood to spare building torches. We might just end up using lanterns. I can't even make more jack-o'-lanterns. I mean, I have like 13 of them, but we can't build more jack-o'-lanterns because you need torches to build jack-o'-lanterns. Everyone take a second and stop and realize that the torches that you place on the wall are what's going in the jack-o'-lanterns. You understand that means that that, like, foot-long torch that is a... No, it takes up a block space, so it's a three-foot wooden torch inside of a pumpkin. Big-ass pumpkin. Then again, I guess the pumpkins are technically one square meter, too, so... We got 15 more blocks. What level are we at? We're at 24. So if we go down our 10 blocks, we'll be at 14, or 5 blocks... Okay, so we will have enough. So at 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, and 12. And that's diamond level. Now we can go get our jack-o'-lantern torches. <laughs> well, I'm just going to use the jack-o'-lanterns for torching up this pillar way. I'm going to use normal torches for my actual strip mining. Probably strip mine off camera because, you know, that can get pretty boring. I'll show you guys what I get each time, and I don't know how to live stream it, so I won't be live streaming it. So it turns out we had just enough torches, but oh, we're only 13 minutes in. So, I'm going to go up here and grab. Well, I guess technically we don't even need to torch this up. We might for aesthetic purposes, but only really down in the mine do we need to torch it because mobs can't spawn on ladders. So, let's see here. Another trick with ladders is, uh, you know, sometimes it's hard to get out of a trap door that's right here. Stop pushing me. Also, for some reason... Oh, that's why. Okay, so I have PvP disabled. So apparently that applies to uh, friendly mobs as well. I noticed that in my last solo world, I had PvP turned off as well. And, like, my horse got in my way and I threw a punch at it and it, like, didn't do anything. So I guess it counts friendly mobs as PvP. See, I, I can't hit him at all, and that's the same exact noise it makes when you, like, swing at someone when you're in, when PvP's off. I'm going to store this in here. Actually, we need those for torches, don't we? Now, we can't place torches. Ooh, I hear a stray outside. I know what that noise is. That is one of our golems fighting a stray. I mean, I know the golem's going to lose. Because it's a go it's a snow golem. Where did you go? He climbed that pillar. I am actually going to fight a couple of these dudes. Boom. What? There we go. Yeah, I know, I'll fix the holes later. I'm trying to find more strays because 
I want more tipped arrows. Those are expensive as hell to make otherwise, because you have to beat the Ender Dragon to get the stuff. Oh, there he is. He is climbing the thing. See, it is an Eglu, but it, because of its recess, it looks a lot like it's just part of the hill. I like that a lot. How am I going to get around this? By falling, that's how. I'm glad hypothermia isn't a thing in Minecraft, because... Whee! I missed the water completely twice. Now, where are those pumpkins? So that's where I got the snow to build my igloo from. Because I didn't realize the golem tech trick until after it was already too late. What I've been thinking is, you know, polar bears, they drop fish. I don't... I think you can breed them, too. So what I'm thinking is... We can build a polar bear farm. And we'll set it up the same way a cow farm goes. 